Hello viewers and welcome to Emeka Williams Spiritual Tips. My name is Pastor Emeka Williams and today I am coming out with another power-packed spiritual information as touching money. And I will be titling this particular video or this particular spiritual information, Spiritual Quick Money Rituals. You know, when we hear about the word ritual as Christians, where our mind quickly runs to is diabolism, bloodshedding, satanism. No, but what is a ritual as a matter of fact is a procedure by which a particular thing or a particular project or a particular act is being carried out spiritually. You know, a normal routine as regards to spirituality. So, we are going to be sharing knowledge on how we can make money to come to us easily. A process, a recipe you can carry out and you draw money into your house, into your pocket, into your abode that poverty will no longer be attached to your house. So I am going to teach you what you can do, a simple but potent way you can control money into your home. I think that should be the best word. How to control money into your home and into your hands using natural items. And in today's episode, all we are going to be needing is just a broom, a bunch of broom. You see broom? We all know broom. This is broom. So you're going to be needing broom and uh, some amount of your country's currency note. You can equally put some hard currency notes attached to your country's currency note. But you're not just going to be getting just one note. You're going to be getting the notes, multiple notes, as much as you can. If you can get a complete bundle of notes, currency notes of your country, that is good. If you cannot get as much as a bundle, boy, let it be a bit plenty. These are what we are going to be needing for this particular uh, spiritual recipe. So if this is your first time of coming in contact with this face, I remain your brother, Pastor Emeka Williams. Welcome to our YouTube channel. This is a channel that I call a family channel where everybody is important. On this channel, we share knowledge to help ourselves. We learn how we can use natural materials connecting to their spiritual frequencies, vibrations, energies, and properties to solve our problems. Sp this channel is basically purely on spirituality. Yes, nature is powerful. Everything God created, he has given one po positive energy or the other to benefit mankind. That is why the Bible said, my people perish for lack of knowledge. So quickly, you have to also become a bona fide member of this family. How do you become a bona fide member? Just a simple thing, by subscribing to our channel. Kindly join this family and subscribe to this channel. How do you subscribe? Look at the right hand side of this video down below. You will see a red subscribe button. Click on it. Boy. And you have become a member. And put on your notification bell to all so that whenever I upload a new video, you will be notified with immediate effect. And to my returning viewers, my returning subscribers, my old and new subscribers, my fans and lovers out there, I give you double thumbs up. I want to say thank you for being there for me and for coming all along with me 
all this while this channel has come into existence. May God never leave you. And may your heart desires be granted without failure from the Almighty God in the name of Jesus Christ. And to God Almighty who created all things, I must remove my cap to bow to him. And I say to you, the maker of all things, the creator of all creations, I bow down to you, O God Almighty, and I say thank you for keeping us all and for blessing us in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, money is very important. And the Bible says that money answered all things. Without money, it is impossible to fulfill a joy-filled life. Without money, you can't have a roof over your head. Without money, you can't pay for your mortgages. Without money, you can't send your children to school. You can't educate your children. Without money, you can't clothe yourself. You can't feed. Without money, you cannot help those people that are dependent on you. Without money, the gospel cannot be spread. So money plays a vital role in the life of humans, and that is why we must seek money. We must find money, but note, let me adjust my cap very well. You must not find money in an ungodly way. The scripture balanced it. He said that money answered all things. But the same scripture said that the love of money is the root of all evil. So when you love money more than everything, my God. So when you love money more than everything, then you could be lured into evil by the love of money. So today I will quickly give you the recipe. How do you carry out this exercise? This exercise, where's that money? This particular exercise has two phases. One, you have to start it by 9 p.m. Okay, 9 p.m. Get some amount of notes, your currency note. Pray over it. Telling God, God, I am using this money as a point of contact to money all over the universe. And I am calling money from the east, from the west, from the north, from the south to come to my home. As I sprinkle and as I spread this money all over the entrance door of my house. Money, hear me and hear me clearly. From all parts of the corners of the world, east, west, north and south. Begin to trace my location. Begin to trace my abode and begin to come in. Then you carry that amount of money you have. You go to your door. Not outside the door, inside because you're going to lock the door by 9 p.m. And make sure immediately you do this assignment, you are not going out for the day again. You won't open that door. So once you've closed your door, then inside part of that, your door, you spread money all, all over the entrance, all over the ground, in your apartment, in your parlor, in your sitting room to be precise. Then when you have spread that money, you command those money you spread there to connect to their fellow money all over the world. That is why we call it money ritual. And attract them to you. Then you leave it there. Go and sleep. Go and do your normal activities. Do everything you are doing. Then when it's time to sleep, go to bed. But make sure you put your alarm clock at 3 a.m. Yes. By then, it has become a new day, a new dawn. And that money that you spread by 9 o'clock would have spent six hours at the entrance door of your house. Within 9, to 3, 9 p.m. to 3 a.m. is six hours. And six is the number of man. So men, women, People will begin to do business with you. They will begin to give you contracts, connections that will put money in your pocket. Because the money will not fly wings, Joe. So I am not telling you that when you put money there, when you wake up, money will not fly everywhere. 
No be juju. No be juju. You are carrying out a prophetic action to summon money spiritually by so doing whatsoever you now lay your hands upon will begin to yield money. Money will no longer resist you because you have called money into your family. Now, what do you do when you wake up by three o'clock? You get your broom. You have blessed that broom already and you have converted it to a spiritual instrument, a token of the Lord for manifestation of those things that be not as if they were. Now, before I tell you how you're going to, what you're going to do with the broom and how you're going to use the broom and the money, if you look at Matthew chapter 17, from verses, I think, 24 to 27, Jesus was asked to pay tax and they were not having money. So he sent Peter, go to the river. The fish you will catch, open the mouth, you will bring out money. That was a prophetic instruction. Jesus could have as much as opened his eyes and commanded money to come into his palm, which he has the ability to do so. Money would have entered into his hands. So these are all prophetic demonstrations. So what do you do? You take your broom, you start sweeping that money. The money you have spread around your entrance door. As you are speaking, you are declaring, you money, I sweep you from the four corners of the earth, from east to west, north and south. I sweep money on AK, on Ori, on Alpha, on Unko, market days. And I sweep you into my home, into my family, into my pocket, into my business, into my bank account. You start sweeping that money gradually. As you are sweeping with the broom, you are praying. You are gathering that money. You are sweeping. You are gathering the money. You are calling for the money. Because what God hears you say, that is what God will do. I used to tell people, the power of your word matters a lot in anything. Because by the power of the spoken word, everything that was created was created. So, you gather, you speak. Gather that money, you sweep that money together and gather it at the center of your house. If it's your sitting room, you gather it at the center, sweep it and gather it at the center of that sitting room. If it's living room, whichever one you call it, even if you are living in a room or apartment, sweep it to the center of that room apartment. Okay, then what next do you do? Hold on. Let me advertise a little before I give you the end part of the instruction. Yes, boy, I have spiritual items to sell. Locally produced by me in order to help you enhance or hasten the manifestation of those your expectations. We have cost breaking soap for breaking of causes, foundational causes, Cause placed upon you by individuals, generational causes, you know, bewitchment and spells and all that. The cause breaking soap is there for you. We have the road opening soap. You have been struggling and since all roads have been blocked and nothing is happening. Your business has closed down. Nothing, no favor, no promotion at work. The road opening soap is there to open new roads of blessings and of means of income for you. We have the anti-witchcraft soap. We have the back to sender soap. We have the anti witchcraft cream. We have the uh, love and attraction soap. We have the favor soap. We have the spider anti spider oil. You are walking on the road. Spider web is cutting your face, cutting your hands and your legs, and thereby causing you barriers to prosperity. The, we have the solution. Then we have also the equal above spiritual detox. For detoxify your body of all those evil they have put inside your body. You have a moving object all over your body. That's Equabo Spiritual Detox. Equabo Plus Spiritual Detox got you there to pew, remove that nonsense. Many of you out there who has bought from me, who has made your orders and have gotten your shipments, can attest to what I'm saying that these products go high. They are super potent. Testimony and result is sure and certain. And we ship to every part of the world. 
at the snap of the finger, FedEx or DHL will drop your order at your doorsteps. And paradventure, you have some spiritual challenges you've been trying to sort out yourself. It seems your personal energy level is not good enough to do that. Let me adjust my cap. Then chat me on WhatsApp or call me on WhatsApp. Let's discuss on modalities how I can come in to help you. But don't forget, nothing is free, even in free time. God bless you as you chat me or contact me with a speed. Go on. We are back to our topic of discussion. Spiritual quick money ritual. This one works. Now, when you have swept that money and gathered it in the center or at the center of your apartment, now you take the money, arrange it properly. What do I do with this money? That is the next question that somebody will ask me. Now, don't worry. What you do is gather that money. If you have the capability or the availability of time or chance, take that money like that. Go to your bank. Pay that money into your bank account, your personal bank account. And if you don't run a bank account, and you are a business person, gather that money, mix it with the money with which you are going to do a new purchase. Add that money to the money you are going to use to buy new goods. I'm telling you, by the grace of the Almighty God, through that name, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, and by the power in the word of God, don't forget, when you are praying, make sure you pray with the name of Jesus Christ. That is our supreme seal and stamp. As long as I am concerned and this channel is concerned. Now, before you go to pay in that money, read Psalm 23 over that money and Psalm 72 over that money. And you may tell me, okay, pastor, I am not doing business and I don't have bank account. How do I make use of the money? Do not dash out that money to anybody. Do not give that money to anybody for dash. If you don't have business you could invest that money into, you don't have a bank account, go and use that money. Buy something for yourself. You could use it to buy something edible to eat with your family. When I mean your family, maybe your husband and your children. If you're a man doing the assignment, your children and your wife. Another way you can use that money you can use that money, go and buy a thing, a tangible thing, come and keep it in your apartment. It could be flower, it could be wall clock, it could be television, it could be anything that you keep in your house. Or you could use it to buy clothing for yourself. That is how you're going to use this money. That's how you're going to use that money. And by the grace of God, go and try this out and see the power of the living God in prophetic actions. Our God is a practical God. He works with words of mouth, spoken words. Most importantly, power of the spoken words. He is also involved in practical demonstration. And he said, whatever we bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. You demonstrate it, you are calling money in. As you are doing that, the spirit of God is backing you up. The angels are bearing witness and they are doing exactly as you are doing with you in the spiritual realm. For as a man thinks in his heart, so he is. God bless you. I will be bringing this video to an end at this juncture. Don't forget to write your comment, whatever your comment is, at the comment section down below. And do not forget, please, like my video, share my video, subscribe to the channel if you have not. Remember, just clicking on that share button could be a savior to somebody that you may not know. God bless you. Till we meet again in my next video, I remain that your brother, Pastor Emeka Williams. Boy, I love you guys.